good morning guys we're starting the day editing a vlog i have a solid to-do list and if i'm able to get it all done i actually want to go to palm springs tonight it's mother's day this weekend and i actually have to be in la on sunday but i'm like maybe you could go celebrate early because i don't really have a lot going on on like honestly friday and saturday so i might as well go over there i figure but i gotta finish all this stuff today if i want to do that Okay, just finished editing the vlog. It took me like three hours today. Love, love to do that, to go boop. Okay guys, I'm getting ready. The vlog is uploading and all my stuff is charging because the next thing we have to do is film a brand integration. And I'm not gonna lie, I feel very unmotivated today. I feel kind of like fatigued actually when i stood up i i felt my eyes kind of like black out a little bit which is something that happens to me whenever i'm kind of low on iron so i'm like maybe i am low on iron it just happens to me every so often and i just get so unmotivated tired like the fatigue is so bad and i feel that today i'm like Ugh, i just don't want to do anything it's also cloudy out so that doesn't help yeah i don't really know why i'm like Ugh, the thought of filming normally is fine i don't know if i'm like experiencing a little burnout or what but that's why i'm considering going to palm springs tonight like if i can finish everything i need to for the week today i could kind of just take a break tomorrow tomorrow being friday i don't know if it's because i've been creating content for so long every once in a while though i will have a day where i'm just like not into it like i just don't want to edit or film but you know what that's okay i know that like everyone with every job goes through that i'm pretty sure i think there's certain jobs i've interviewed some founder of company founders of companies like the dry bar founder and the solid core founder where they both said like they loved building their companies and they didn't get burned out for like literally five years like they worked so hard and would be there every day but they were like happy to do it and to be there because it's like their passion and what they were doing and i'm just like shit that's not really how i feel these days about making videos Ugh. but i don't know an alternative of what i'd be so passionate to do so it's not like i'm just gonna stop and for me when it comes to burnout with youtube it is very like it's very it's an ebb and flow like some days i'm just not motivated then i'll come up with a cool idea and be like so excited to film it so i think it's kind of normal but also i'm just so jealous of those people who like love what they do every day i'm like man i want an idea for a company that i would be like super excited to make like honestly that sounds like a dream but i don't have like an idea for a company unless it was like a tennis company like expanding live ball all over the nation but i've kind of run the numbers on that and it doesn't it's not a super good business because you can only have like eight people playing at a time and you need a ton of real estate <sighs> yeah i just like these days i keep thinking of everything in terms of like what would be like a cool business to start and but that's not really like the best way to go about it it needs to just come to you like an idea that's so good that you're like i have to do this yeah not forcing anything all right quickly did some edits for rakuten it was super easy it's the best thing ever if you're working with a brand and they have like no edits or very minimal like really easy edits like i feel like i did a really good job on that integration and luckily they agreed so it was just minor little little changes i had to make okay how the heck is it already 11 30 let's make some lunch okay my next work block after i have lunch is going to be filming and i need energy for that i feel so weak today well guys like why what is up with me i don't know but definitely need to have a good meal before we film <laughs> oh, geez. the best avocado toast ingredients it needs a little lime a little pickled onions and some eggs for protein <laughs> I know I show my food in vlogs so much. It's almost like annoying, I bet. Like it's a, it's a straight up like food log, but it's such a highlight of my day. Like, okay, nice thing about getting B-roll first is I can listen to a podcast while I do it. So I am. Okay, quick break from filming to open this Saison package because I need to move it from the background. So I need to unbox it, which will be fun. Um, but yeah, this is PR disclosure. They do send me stuff, which is like literally 
definitely a dream because I love their stuff. So I did get to pick this. For the first time ever, I saw they had home stuff on the website. So I actually did get one little, one little guy. This is a mug. It's a coffee mug with an S on it and I love the color. And just like, I kind of needed another coffee mug. I only have like three. Wow, so pretty, made in Portugal. Oh my gosh, it's like bigger than I expected, which is really nice. You know how people do that, like ASMR or whatever. It is a bag. It's like a very simple little bag, but I just think it's just really chic. And look, it got it's engraved. It says SC on it, like really small, which is pretty cute. Pretty good size, can fit like a pretty good amount of stuff. I'm just shooting a talking part with the vacuum in the back. Bring this light over. I'm proud of myself for pushing through you guys. I'm almost done editing this and I feel like uh, it was actually a pretty accomplished day. I have not left my apartment, which is how you know I'm actually getting shit done, but it's been boring, so I can't wait to leave. Well, my back has felt better after tennis <laughs> um but i have all my stuff packed up so let's head over to palm springs it's monica and jason's last day there of the year tomorrow and we're just gonna like celebrate mother's day early too so let's go cheers you're watching golf it's Good morning. I'm glad I made the drive over last night because it's just so nice to be here. It's so, oh my God, so warm in the morning and the evenings. I just love it. We're gonna early celebrate Mother's Day today, even though it is Friday. I have a consulting call I have to get on. With this Fortune 500 company, they're doing like a creator council. So I guess there's gonna be other creators and we give them our ideas or opinions i guess we will see but i'm excited because it's a company that i love and always shop at i don't know if i'm allowed to say what it is but should be interesting i think i feel like it'll be fun but technically also work they're paying pretty well so that'd be cool and i do need to make a thumbnail for the vlog okay gotta go get on this call Stopped at Trader Joe's and we got stuff to make the fresh margs. More, more importantly, but more importantly, I think we got hopefully a renter for this house, which I can't believe if we actually get one. <laughs> Two doges. Shut it. Are you serious? Shut it all the way down and then press the button on the side. What? Yeah. Right home. Looking good. Let's try it. Monica did the cocktail shaking and everything. Mm, delicious. I convinced Monica to play some evening tennis with me because it's cooled off. It's so hot during the day, but feels okay right now, but it is very windy, which is not good conditions for tennis. Good job, Monica, that was good. I'm tired. It's a good workout. Now we can hot tub. Palm Springs weekend is ending. Heading back to LA. Trying to get there in time for morning live ball. Two weeks worth of stuff. In just a carry-on. I guess I could have checked the bag, but I just really don't feel like it. We are ready to go. I'm wearing my bulkiest clothes on the plane. Like I was gonna try and pack this, but then I was like, wait, no. So just wear it on the plane so I have more room. And jeans. Don't love flying in jeans, but today I'm doing it. I used one of my upgrade certificates. I get four of them a year for like the status I've gotten on Delta, even though I barely am flying this year. So I probably won't have that status again, but I got upgraded. So I just know it's gonna be a comfy day of travel. It is like eight hours of travel to get to Greenville. So very thankful that I will be so comfy. Cloudy, 
cloudy LA day. Apparently Greenville is way hotter than LA right now. Sam was like shook when he was here by how cold it was because it was like not 80. <laughs> so kind of excited for that, for some like really, really hot, humid, Southern summer weather. gonna kick my ass and I beg to differ. Okay, context in tennis. Context. I beg <laughs> to differ. Okay, he never plays. Never plays, so we'll see about that. outside to do a voiceover and it is so nice out it feels so humid but i like it check out this hidden gem in culver city that wouldn't be allowed to open today i fully had the intention to make this meal i found on pinterest but i got so hungry i had i can't go to the grocery store and make a meal i got kava but i'm still gonna go to the grocery store after this i just can't y'all i found i'm saying y'all because i'm in the south um but i found a tennis clinic it's like an hour-long class in greenville at this really nice looking tennis center so i'm gonna go try it i got the last spot um so sam couldn't come so he didn't sign up in time but i'll scope it out maybe he can try it in the future so let's go see it's called the croc tennis center it's owned by the salvation army so it's like a non-profit and it looks actually very nice like kind of country clubby <music> I'm back from playing tennis. Sam was joking before I went that the class would be mostly older ladies. I didn't even think about that because it's never that way in LA, but it was. Um, but they were good and they were really nice. Um, and then there were two guys who were like my age. And so it was a fun little class. But I'm gonna make a pasta salad. I got stuff yesterday at Trader Joe's. This is a chickpea pasta with more protein in it. And yeah, I saw this recipe on uh, Instagram, Lauren sent it to me and I was like, wait, that actually looks so good. I'm gonna make that. Okay, don't judge the mess. It's a little chaotic, but here it is. Turned out pretty good. It's delicious. I might cook the rest of the pasta and then have it like for tomorrow too. I didn't end up making the whole thing. I love the lemon though. And the dill is good. I gotta send a photo of this to Lauren because she sent me this. All right, guys, I am taking the final exam two of three because you have to take three different sort of courses for the real estate exam. This is the second one. Yeah, 100 questions, let's do it. All right, I'm submitting it, let's see. And we got 88%, okay, that's pretty good. Hello, you guys. <sighs> I've looked better. I've looked better. I really like sweated my makeup off playing tennis today, but I thought I would check in because I haven't really vlogged hardly at all this week. I've been in Greenville this week and it just, I don't know. I just haven't really been vlogging because we've been mostly at this office and just we've been being boring, to be honest. 
we have. Um, but I did film a video that I'm editing and it's Saturday night. We're here at the office. We're working Woo! on stuff. But honestly, I'm fine with that because didn't get a lot done this week. Didn't get a lot done this week, but tomorrow we're going to New York for Monica's and Jason's engagement. So that will be fun. That is why we're going. Otherwise, I wouldn't, I would not go to New York because I feel like I just go there. I don't really have a reason to go there right now. I don't know. I, I tried to think of a video idea I could film there and I seriously couldn't come up with anything. So a big group of us are going to go. Um, That'll be fun. Anyway, just here working on stuff. There is a 55 year reunion going on in the like main hallway of this building. So that's kind of funny. Okay guys, thanks for watching this vlog. I wanted to end it formally because I didn't. I'm back in LA. The next vlog is in New York and it does include Monica and Jason's proposal, like the planning of it. I'm not gonna include the actual proposal, like let her. But there's the fun little behind the scenes that we got when we were like setting stuff up in the New York trip. I did get sick on my way back, so sorry about that. Not feeling great right now, but I wanted to get the vlog up. So I know it's been a minute. Sorry, I haven't uploaded in a while. I kind of needed to take a break and then was traveling and you know, you know how that is, but we're back. We're on it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this one and stay tuned to the next one because it's going to be even more fun than this one actually. Okay, bye!